All right. How y'all doing tonight? You know, it's going to be a good night tonight. We got a bunch of videos coming out tonight. And then or at a, probably just this one. I don't know. I'm not feeling in, not feeling in the best mood right now. But let's talk about the college football playoff top 25 and let's see who in the world is who in the world is going to be you know getting to that race towards the top four you know uh first off number 25 oklahoma state is still hanging on by the thinnest of threads at 25 they probably don't need to be ranked at all i'd rather put in another you know group of five team or something like that but, you know, it is what it is. Navy's 24, Virginia 23, USC, who finished their season two weeks ago. That's number 22, number 21, Appalachian State. Hey, hey, Mountaineers, how y'all doing? Y'all do, doing fine? It's okay. Sunbelt, it's just not, it's not the greatest conference, you know, but, I mean, at least you're ranked. Um, Cincinnati didn't drop very far. They're number 20, Boise's 19. Minnesota dropped 10 spots to number 18. Memphis is 17. Iowa 16. Notre Dame is 15. Michigan 14. Oregon 13. And the biggest, the biggest surprise, or not really a surprise, some people did project Alabama to be here, and they are indeed the number 12 team in the nation. Um, they may not even go to a New Year's Six Bowl. They may be stuck in another bowl game. Who knows? Um, but Auburn's 11, Penn State 10, Florida 9, Wisconsin surprisingly is at number 8 above Florida and Penn State. Number 7 and number 6 will take on each other in the Big 12 championship. That is Baylor at number 7, Oklahoma at 6. Utah is still getting the treatment that that is that they want right now for the committee. So they're number five, and then the top four stays the, completely the same. It's Ohio State, LSU, Clemson, and Georgia. One, two, three, and four. Now, what's the scenarios here? What's what's all what's what's going to be talking? Well, I think that no matter what, uh, at the very least, you could say that Ohio State and LSU have clinched their spots. I don't know about Clemson though. If Clemson loses their schedule, their strength of schedule is 65th. And yeah, they've dominated all season long, but if they lose to Virginia, I think that that will open up a spot. I think that will open up the spot. Now, it could be only the four seed that could be open, and it could be the Pac-12 or the Big 12. It depends on what the committee thinks of the Big 12. <sighs> Because they don't really think of the Big 12 very highly. Um, evidence as to why Oklahoma, with the stronger schedule strength, is is behind Oklahoma, is behind Utah. And even though Utah is a dominating team, they don't have a top 25 win. In fact, they lost to the only team that they played in the top 25, and that is USC. And remember, Oregon beat USC, so... But will the Oregon win help Utah out? Who knows? Um, what if Georgia beats LSU? Well, then, if Georgia beats LSU, then it's a wrap. That's going to be the playoff because if the top three, or rather, if Georgia beats LSU and the other two cruise or win a close game in the conference championships this weekend, it's all a wrap. So it could be one of several possibilities but it could be if georgia wins if georgia beats lsu and the other two and the other two meaning ohio state and clemson if they win well then it's going to be those top four it's going to be georgia lsu and clemson and ohio state if georgia loses and utah loses then the winner of the um the big 12 championship is in no matter what it could be oklahoma it could be baylor who knows? But what if, okay, what if Georgia and the Big 12 champion loses? And what if Utah wins? Well, here to tell you, um, that's going to be, uh, I, mean, I mean, Utah will be in it. The Big 12 champion, kind of, yes. Yeah, did I say that right? I can't remember. 
but if Georgia loses, the Big 12 champion, you know, is still behind Utah on Sunday afternoon. Mm-mm. What? Mm-mm. I mean, it, it all ha- it all comes down to these seven teams, and there could be three to five teams fighting over one spot. Who knows if it's going to be two, but I think Ohio State and LSU have proven that they are indeed the top two teams in the country. They just have the wins. All their wins are inside the top 25. You know, Ohio State has a bunch of them. Wisconsin, Penn State, Michigan, Cincinnati, all in the top 25. And LSU has a bunch of good wins as well. Auburn, Alabama, Florida, you know, all that good stuff in the top 25. It's coming down to the wire. We don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be fun. See you all Saturday, you know, for some more college football, baby.